Hello, and welcome to Shamrock Talk, the internet's number one mother-son Celtics podcast. I'm your host, Jake Olin, here once again with my mother, Karen Olin, in Maine. Beautiful lake setting for summer league talk. If you're on YouTube, you can see that. Our YouTube numbers are not high, so many many people will not be seeing the lake. But They'll um, just be hearing us. Yeah, they'll Maybe just they'll- be, but you can hear the birds too. You can hear the birds chirping. Yep, boats will go by. Day there. Outside Here in Argentina, it's winter, so it doesn't. It's not. It's not as not as fun, but. Um, we we're back. Yeah, we're back. Um, it's been huh? a few Celtics moves to discuss since I think our last podcast was, um, finals loss reactions. So. Time to reset, get ready for 2022-2023. So for I, I forgot last time. I have some I, I have our predictions. Oh yeah. So yeah. one of our first episodes ever is after the all-star break. We made our last season predictions. I thought first thing we can quickly go through to see who was right, who were was we, wrong. Were we even and close? then <laughs> yeah. Well, we actually were. Which is interesting, um, and then I'll, before next season, we'll prep some full season predictions for next year. But I thought for now we'll just recap these. So for our first question, well, stuff was so dire last year. At that time, our first question was, "Do the Celtics play in the play-in game?" And we both said no. Happened. We're both correct. So we got the two seed, which is, but that's how yeah. dire things were at the All Star break, more than halfway through the year. And then email started listening. Great. Yeah, and then we started the podcast, and the rest is yep. history. Um, after that, we had who was coming out of the East. You had faith. You said the Celtics. You were correct. You I were- was not as optimistic. I said the Bucks. Pretty close. Come on, Middleton plays. Come on. Um, <laughs> you were right in the West. But happily wrong on that one. I was right in the West. You yeah. had the Suns. I had the Warriors. The Suns did not um, play well. Yeah. MVP, I had Giannis. You had Embiid. Neither yep. of us were correct. You were probably closer on that one. A lot of people thought Embiid should have won. But it went to Nikola Jokic. I'm not yep. sure you saw. There's now a player, I think. Is it the Cav? No, I, oh, it was the Heat that got him. There's now a player named Nikola Jovic. Ah, very similar. Also, just got drafted and is now in the NBA. Um, and then I think there's another team that now has like two Jalen Williams. Wait, is it spelled the same way? Joe and Jokic? No, no, it's not. It's just it's J O V I C instead of J O K I C. So it's just one letter Mm -hmm. off. Then one team has like two Jalen Williams or something now. It's spelled different. I don't remember. I couldn't, I, I saw that this week though. But uh, those were our predictions. Um, just thought that'd be fun to see you know pretty close not terrible yeah not bad um and then actually the last one was how far will the celtics go you you said champions you were way closer than me i said first round exit so <laughs> yep. um, yeah well, i think you said win the first round right you were trying to no be... i said first round exit or was it because we of brooklyn first round well brooklyn yeah. I, well, I, I, at the time yeah all i thought brooklyn was better than us sixers were better than us yeah. Heat were better than us. Mm. Uh, Bucks, and that's four. So you have those are the top four teams. I thought we'd lose to one of them. Yeah. And then, so, but somehow, some way, we beat them all. The team that just kept going on that. Almost. Yeah. The little engine that could. Um, but that was last year. So on to the off season. Um, so a lot so has happened to- since the last time we've talked. I'll just say it's so funny to listen to some of the uh, interviews and even the interviews this summer and talking about last year and what the team needed to do. And it's all kind of somber. And I'm thinking to myself, we made it to the finals. (laughs) We completely turned. Tough pill to swallow to get that. Yeah, that close. But it's just so funny. I'm like, we made it to the finals and we probably shouldn't have, (laughs) but we did. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. Um, All right. This year. I'm excited. Yeah. So, so first, I guess, uh, first thing first, the draft, 
Um, not much to say there. We didn't have a first round pick. Had one second round pick, which was JD Davidson, um, guard out of Alabama. Um, he was five when star. So young. Yeah, played one year. He's a five star. Had a, coming out of high school, kind of had. Um, I think not year did not go as well as expected. I think. Um, but. We'll see. I mean, we can get more. We'll, we'll go over summer league. We have a big summer league preview coming later that's in the it. episode. So um, that's another talk about that more then. That's another question that I have. Why is it called summer league when there are only four games? <laughs> no, there are eight. Oh, oh, one so there's was four, on the. Uh... There's four scheduled, and then depending on how they would do in those four games, I play feel much better. I think it's like eight. Like I, th- I believe games. it's eight. No, they, oh, I think they play more than that. There's a tournament at the end. You can be the summer league champions. That's a whole. Gotcha. Yeah. I feel a little better. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I, There's yeah, like yeah. a loser's bracket and a winner's bracket. And so it, yeah, they, they play more games than four. There's just four scheduled. Yeah. As of now. yeah. Um, But that brings us in uh, probably the most interesting news. I mean, unless you're, unless you're really oh. in the weeds, summer league is uh pretty dry. <laughs> yeah. But um, it is in Vegas. Yeah. But, oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> but, um, so, so we'll get into the, the interesting stuff. So free agency first move was to sign Danilo Gallinari, the mid-level exception to your deal. Um, thoughts? I like it. Thoughts? I like I it. I do too. I'm very excited. It's fine. I mean, I think a role player and yeah. his defensive average- liability, old man, kind of slow, but yeah, I think when he came in though, he, most of the time that I watched him scored pretty quickly, pretty fast, which yeah, is honestly I mean, what a, we need. <laughs> yes, we need I agree. Zero time. Yeah. So Knockdown I, shooter. I, I like, yeah. I agree. I, I like the move I don't overall. Mind him. I, think, I think offensively he's, he's pretty good. It's and it's low um, risk. I mean, worst case he yeah. gets buried in the bench and like, yeah. doesn't play he that like much. He was like 20 something minutes last year. And, but he, he played will not almost, play that for us. <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> 60. Well, that. you never know. I mean, I don't know. You never know. 66 games in 2000 i mean yeah which is pretty good i mean pretty Mm -hmm. consistent wasn't hurt and um i think it was almost 14 points a game year before was like 17 points a game so i mean Mm -hmm. average so not bad i'll I'll take him yep um i think his three-point shooting was pretty good yes very good three-point shooter that's yeah that's where he should help us the most yeah. Um, and then the, the big splash, um, Malcolm Brogdon traded to the Celtics for Tice, Aaron Neesmith, Nick Stauskas, Malik Fitz, Juwan Morgan, and our first round pick next year, top 12 protected. Um, I love this move too. I mean, yeah, I like him too. My only concern was he was concern. out with an injury last year. Yes, what he's always injury? hurt. He's always hurt. So that's my this only concern. So this is the concern. Injury. Yeah. 29. But, He's 29, yeah. I think, with yeah. an injury. So I'm hoping that he's healthy just, and can help us. If you us. can just get him to the playoffs. Like, our roster is deep like enough now. Third highest paid person? Fourth highest paid? I mean, he's making some. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Um, um, so I'm hoping. Hoping. He a little bit of a chance. But I do like how he plays. I like Brogdon. I yeah. I, I think it's a great move. Um, yeah. He could be that point guard if you need him to. Um, yes. Playoff experience, great shooter, good defender, big, bigger guy. Yeah. Um, it's like a third, uh, the two-headed monster of white smart just added another head, basically. It's yeah. like they yeah. have all these guys okay. that can play defense, 6'4", six, 6'6", six, six range, that can yeah. handle the ball, play defense, shoot the three at varying degrees. Brogdon is definitely the best of those three now. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, the only concern would be injuries. He's always hurt. So, yeah. so just limit his minutes fingers. and get him to the playoffs. Like, yeah, agree. When you're now that now that we're established as one of those teams, that's what you do. Like you just say. And so does he come off the bench for you? At first, sure. Tough. If he's if yeah. he lights the world on fire, then you start him. But like yeah. again, why not ease him in? If he's always hurt, yeah. you ease him in. So like an Oladipo, yeah. hurt, yeah. you ease him in, and he can make that playoff impact when you need him to. 
Like yeah. that's what when you again when you when you establish yourself as a contender it's chess not checkers you, that's why you play Gallinari some games you give Tatum the rest and Brown the rest. Yeah. you have and um we can get into later we need some rest for Horford and Williams but uh yeah, yeah so I mean in, injuries concern I just say limit minutes at first ease them into it and hope for the best I mean what else are you gonna do there it's like yeah, no, I like him. I like how he plays. Um, in terms of what I'm we gave away, I mean, Tyson and Neesmith are the only ones in the first pick, but. And in certain um, games, I liked Tice, but not, I mean, I think Gallinari. He didn't play the last two rounds. Oh, good. Like, yeah, I think Gallinari yeah. is a good trade for him. And I heard, I, I was hearing that maybe, I mean, Pacers don't even want him and end up cutting him and we could re-sign him. So it's like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Love Tice. Neesmith. Celtic legend. Nee Smith, I he could play rotation somewhere. Yeah. He's, I mean, just never developed into what um yeah. not a lot of time spent on him. And then when there was, he was yeah. hurt. So it's kind of hard yeah. to They wanted him to be a shooter and he's not a shooter. Like I I just that, like I didn't want I haven't seen Consistent. a lot of film of him in college, but like the scouting report was just wrong. It was like, oh, like all I heard coming out was he's a knockdown shooter, the wing guy that shoots the three. He like, whenever he played, he did everything well, but shoot the three. Good defender, super athletic, but like wasn't a three-point shooter. So, I mean, we have two super athletic wings that can like, that are our two best players. So it's, we just didn't need them. Uh, Fine trade. And the pick is the only other thing of real value. Um. Just so, young, gonna, and it's going to be yeah. interesting how he fits. If you're going to be again, if you're going to be a good team, the pick's not going to matter anyway. So, yeah, yeah, it'll be That's interesting fine. to see if he surpasses some of our other bench players and is able to mm-hmm. to play. So last, my hope is on Hauser. Yeah, so I was about to say last two offensive moves we signed Hauser, three years, six million dollars. Um, yeah, it's good. It's it's interesting. Um, I, I like Hauser. I think he's shot well. I just don't where the minutes gonna come. You have yeah. Gallant, like like you own you return the whole same team you have, yeah, plus Brogdon, plus Gallinari. You, Hauser couldn't get minutes last year. So yeah, but we actually have a bench this year that might be a bench. I would rather not see Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown playing. 40 something minutes a game yeah right? I, oh i agree yeah, but those you know, minutes go and they to didn't do it as much early in the season but Brogdon. playoffs i think because we had no bench they played too many minutes and were exhausted mm-hmm. by the end yep. so yeah i'm looking forward to a better bench and hopefully hauser fits into that bench somehow and um good yeah. role player when i agree him, right? I, I i like him when he's played i just don't know when he's gonna get on the floor yeah um, yep. And then last one, we re-signed Luke Cornett as well. After the trade, we you know freed up some roster spots with Stauskas, Fitz, and Morgan going and Neesmith yeah. and Tice. So um, I don't, I just don't understand it. He's twenty seven. Wait, He's say that again. I'm play. sorry, I missed it. I don't, I don't really understand signing him. I don't know. He's twenty seven. He's not Cornett. Luke Cornett. Oh, agreed. He actually, in the few times he came into some of the games early on, was not terrible. Like shooting wise, no, I thought I mean, inside he was good. Yeah. He got a few. He's so skinny. He's so thin. I think he just gets banged around in there. So that is my only. But yes. his hands are pretty sure. He's one of the better scorers in there. Um, and he had a few good blocks. I just don't think we knew how to use him. And now it's going to be very interesting. Williams, yeah. well, Horford, Gallinari, um, Cornet, like where's yeah yeah well he's uh, he's also he's 27 you could he's not gonna play yeah you could have just used i i would just rather you we'll get to again we'll get to summer league i'd rather you use it on one of those guys that has a chance to yeah and higher I upside think, i think there is some worry about williams rob williams I oh of course do. i yeah, think yeah. that I, with his again, knee we'll injuries to this, we're, we're gonna sign a big guy yeah that's yeah. on that i i just on have a feeling that they are concerned yeah, after yeah, watching yeah. film I agree. not the best defender in some instances and i think they're concerned about injury i mean you know he's a bouncy player he ends up on the floor a lot um so i think there's some concern with him even though he's great and like he has those plays that you're just like outstanding you know the blocks from 15 20 feet out or 10 feet out but Mm -hmm. i do think there is concern and i think that's why 
they're keeping the big men because it'll be interesting to see how he comes back this year. Yep. Um, so those were the real four moves that we made. Um, um, and so, so let's get into summer league, which starts tomorrow. According this, not, I, I didn't not say all that excited. This today. According this in the afternoon of uh, Friday, July 8th. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not excited. If, no, you can't, you <laughs> With can't the be. exception of Hauser yeah. and then Broderick, right? I apologize to our listeners, but I will not be tuning in for every game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, like I'll watch. I'll like watch some. I'll, I'll watch two, right? I'll, Broderick I'll Hauser and the new one. Uh, well, let's. I, I have the roster. I, I've I've done a deep ish dive yeah. on all these guys. So the rest of them, like it. who? <laughs> um. Yeah. So starts tomorrow, the ninth, Saturday in Vegas. Heat up first for us. Um, I have no idea who's on anybody else's team, so forget about that. I mean, Nikola Jovic is on the Heat team, so good to see him. But um. Oh, the Celtics. New. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Celtics. Here's the rundown. Uh, coached by Ben Sullivan, who is I, I, probably in the front running to be our top assistant behind Ime. Um, Will Hardy, assistant last year, was stolen by Danny Ainge and is now the yep. head coach of the Jazz. Mm-hmm. Um, so Ben Sullivan, uh, you know, being that summer league head coach is a good indicator that he probably be the top bench guy mm-hmm. um so f- first up is john bajarin bajarin i don't know he's french uh uh second round draft pick from last year he played for paris baskets last year um i would say outside chance to make the roster most likely not super athletic um guards like six five ish um, probably goes back to Europe is probably the most likely uh, scenario for him. Next up, Jordan Bone uh, played for Tennessee, was 2019 second round pick. He's bounced around a couple NBA teams, G League, I think. Um, probably not going to make the team. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a guy that'll come up there with you in Maine and play on a two-way or something. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm not... not Say hi. He's just got his Boston gear on. Come not say a good hi. chance. Um, summer league. Give give a little shout out to the summer league podcast. Oh, my brother Brett. <laughs> Up here hanging the mix with the Celtics T-shirt on. I can't hear you have your headphones on. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> you want to hear? Okay, he's gone. All right, run. He's running. No. <laughs> I just thought he had um, the shirt on, so he'd add a little. He did have a know. Celtics shirt. Yeah. But yeah. again, we don't have many. If you go watch on YouTube, we have like our YouTube numbers are pitiful. Um, I got a marketing plan for the fall. Do I have you? a marketing plan for the fall. Yes, I do. Yep. Um, well, sponsors lining up. I don't even the know which one's main the view, My flower background in the background of my bed. Um, yeah, go watch us on YouTube. All right. After the interruption, Jordan Bone, Tennessee, probably not going to make the roster. Next up, J.D. Davidson, our second-round pick out of Alabama. Um, I'd say, so So Super last young, I so heard, it's... yeah, last I heard is that uh, we have, so we have two roster spots left as of now, because we'll probably go with 14 guys. Not We won't add a 15th for money reasons. Wait, House probably. is already there. Yeah, so I'll go, okay. So I guess we can yeah. pa- pause the Summer League uh, yeah. thing. And go through our roster first. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. Tatum, Brown, Horford, Brogdon, Smart, White, Robert Williams, Gallinari, Grant Williams, Peyton Pritchard, Luke Cornett, Sam Hauser. Yeah. Those I mean, are your 12. Spots. Two yeah. more spots. Heavily rumored, heavily um, kind of people have um, surmised that one of those spots is going to go to a veteran big man cover al and rob williams thomas bryant he's a wing he's more of a (laughs) that's still too short yeah yeah he's not athletic he can't like and then cornet why would we give him a contract this is that's why i'm confused he's not gonna play he's not gonna be maybe a little yeah but we're gonna sign a veteran is what people are saying uh thomas bryant was the big suspect rudy rudy gobert rudy gobert he just signed. He just him. got traded. 
I know. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> he he may he's like one of the like top five paid players in the league. It's crazy. I like him. Um, I, I do. He's not bad. A lot of people hate on him, but yeah. Um, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> now I know. Uh, I like him. Thomas Bryant was the big uh, suspected one, but he chose the Lakers over us. So that's not that's out of the picture. So I heard like I don't know Frank Kaminsky, Demarcus Cousins, Lamarcus Aldridge, um. Blake Griffin, even, but he's not really a big guy. I mean, um, no. yeah, the names out there aren't ideal. I don't think. No. Uh, Thompson Pertle, I don't know if he's in. <laughs> Tristan. He's out there. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, no, don't, don't do it to either. me again. Don't do yes. it. Yes. He is <laughs> so soft. The, the names he's aren't so great, soft. but the the I, I mean, I would I would mark one of those spots, and we can get we'll get into summer league later. Who again? The, some of these guys have an outside chance of stealing that spot, but heavily implicated, a veteran center or big man is taking up one of those spots. Yep. So then one. Then there's those for, that yeah, there's that one spot, and so for so how we'll the only one that's signed right in Cornet. Oh, the, but how is the only one playing summer not league playing. signs? Yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah, not. Yeah. Um. So yeah. let's. Switch back to summer league now that you have the yeah. so you have Bajarin, the uh Yuhan Bajarin, the French guy, um, went over him. He has an outside chance of getting that spot, probably goes back to Europe. Jordan Bone, Tennessee, probably not. JD Davidson, the second round pick. I saw someone had a source who again, who knows, not me, obviously. Uh, that was saying it was between him and Broderick Thomas, who was a two-way guy last year. You'd recognize him from the bench in the playoffs. Yes. yes. Um, he was hurt. He was hurt part of the time, like in the yes. beginning or he had to, yeah. 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 So the, the rumor is that it might be between them two, both guards that get that last mm-hmm. spot. Yeah. But again, who knows? Not my source. Um, so summer so league is Sam Hauser. Like- yeah. Sam Hauser, he's he's gonna he should be your top scorer. Hopefully he can, yep. you know, make an impression. Uh yeah. you have um Jericho Helms forward, played three years at NC State. Um, not gonna make the team. Maybe he's the main guy. Didn't look too much into him. Brighton who's Hobbs. A 30, who's a 30 year old? <laughs> that is Brighton Hobbs. Okay. Out of Northeastern States. Mm-hmm. He is Jason Tatum's cousin. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, so I was thinking he was still playing at Northeastern State. No, 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 no. Joined no. as a freshman. Gotcha. Okay. No, so the last he, time he, he played, played there was college. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Yeah. But he's Jason Tatum's cousin. Did they just um, meet people? Yeah. As, like, as we've said, there's no roster spots. So it's people that like, yeah. you know, aren't, yeah. know they're not going to make the team anyway. Throw, throw Jason yeah. Tatum's a bone, throw Tatum a bone, put his cousin on there. I have no problem with yeah. that. It's like it's yeah. whatever. Um, so he's on the team. Uh Mifiondu Kabalenge, Kabengale, Ka- Kabengale, <laughs> Mifiondu Kabengale, I believe it is. Nice. He was guy. a first Good. he was a first round pick in 2019 from the Nets. He's bounced around a couple teams, never really played, it was last in the G League. Um yeah. Big athletic center, though. Never know. Uh, 6'10", forward, played for Florida State. Um, yeah. Maybe he's – maybe, maybe – yeah. he, so him and then a guy we'll get to later, I'd say we're probably the top two um, kind of outside. If we don't want a veteran, maybe one of these guys gets the spot. So he's a guy to watch. Mifiondu Kabengala. Um, yeah. From Canada. I think his parents are from Congo or something. Um, AJ Reeves, uh, guard out of Providence. Uh, he's another guy that we kind of threw a bone local guys from Roxbury. Uh, he's the Massachusetts player of the year a couple of years ago. Um, sort of the guy he's not going to make the team, but you know, local kid, they'll give him a shot. Yeah. Cool. Um, Matt Ryan, he, again, you may recognize him from the bench to a main guy from last year. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah. Um, I didn't recognize Roger Thomas. Person. Yeah, Broderick Thomas, who we already talked about, he's probably in contention with J.D. Davidson for that last 14th spot. And then Trevion Williams out of Purdue. People are very high on this guy, and I am too. 
center, big guy. I don't know how big he is. I'll look it up right now. But um, he's, I guess, a great passer as a center, kind of a Draymond Greenish type, you know, playmaker, yeah. not a great scorer, but distributes the ball very well as a big man. Um, good D. People are six nine, good D. I, yeah. yeah, out of Purdue. Um, yeah, people were. I they liked his tape. I guess he's in practice has been good. Um, would love a guy like that. I mean, uh, you never know. Um, again, there's two spots left. Will he make the team? Probably not. Maybe you give him the two way deal with Maine. That's fine. But uh, one of the guys that's been so I, I'd say if we're if we're ranking guys to watch, you have J.D. Davidson, Broderick Thomas, the rumored two guys to make that last spot. You have. Mm-hmm. Mifiandu Kabengale, Trevion Williams, two bigger guys, maybe steal that spot from a veteran. Yeah. Um, Sam Hauser is probably going to be the leading scorer. Juhan Bajarin, French guy who we drafted last year, maybe he steals that spot from Davidson or Thomas if he plays really well. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have until um, preseason games to make that decision before. Is it before the first? regular season Good question. game that we, i don't know when the deadline because i thought we had that some that we cut remember we i thought it was last year where we had some and we cut them just before the regular season started yeah, i don't yeah, think that was yeah. summer league but i think it was probably training camp, pretty close yeah. yeah pretty close um, to the beginning of the season because i think it was preseason some of them played and then they were cut yeah um because i yep. definitely did not watch summer league last year um which i'm yeah, gonna catch so, a couple games I'll catch a couple. If you're, I think summer if league's hard though, right? Summer league is like the people that yeah. you're playing with. I just don't think we're in a grooming phase. So no, some of these, I Which think, got to yeah. come in and they've got to be able to play with. Them yeah, someone's gonna light the world on fire and yeah, yeah. Maybe make so a spot here. Not, that we are unfortunately, not. maybe it's Jericho those... Hellams guy yeah. I wrote off. Maybe he's yeah, yeah. yeah it's got to be somebody that can come on in with our current roster and make a difference right away. Because yeah. I don't think they're going to spend much time grooming people. Yes. If point. I had to make a prediction, we're going to sign a veteran. None of these guys will yeah. make it. And then I think Davidson, the rookie, will be the last guy. Um, I have no I'm insight on Hauser that. Make it. It's just my gut feeling. Well, Hauser's already on the team. That's what I said. I'm glad Hauser made yeah, it. Yeah. I think yeah. he deserves a shot. I think when he yeah, did come I agree. In, shooting was excellent. I think and that was so When he did come, even at the end, that um, he, he um, at least deserves a shot. If you um, really, if you're still with us and you really know your stuff, you'd know that Yam Madar, our second round pick from last year, is not on the team. He's opted to stay in Europe. Um, Israeli guy. Hmm. Not much else to say on that. Won't be making the team. So I really haven't followed many other teams and trades. I've sort of been focused on the Celtics. Any mm-hmm. big surprises thus far for teams that have made big changes big stars that have moved pretty crazy yeah that is i'm surprised i did not know he. i knew he was up we we were talking about it but yeah and where did he go he went to minnesota yep but they gave up like way too they gave him like five first brown picks or something crazy yeah yeah it was i think they way overpaid yeah but they already have carl anthony towns is a big guy um well he's in trouble He's in trouble. Is it Carl Anthony Towns, the what? NBA player that's in trouble? No. Miles Bridges. Crazy? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I was yeah. like, wait, one of the, the really good yeah, big the, guys the is the Hornets in trouble. Are, I forgot. are a disaster. Yeah, I'm Miles Bridges. Yep. That was not good. I not knew it was great. somebody that was well, a and good player. Montrez Harrell was also like arrested for like having a bunch of weed in his car in Kentucky, and that's like a felony there. And so he might go to the yeah, other a mess. It's not good over there. That's a Charlotte little better. Had her, oh, of course, little better much, much, much better. Beating up your but, girlfriend. Yes, just in terms of their roster, uh, yeah. they've had a rough. They've had a Charlotte's had a rough go of it. Yeah. Um. Not. Much. Oh, um, uh, what's his face? Spurs guy. Uh, they're all star this year. Why can't I remember his name? He got traded to the Hawks. Um, I want to say Hunter, but that's he's already on the Hawks. 
it yeah, I'm, I haven't is... followed anybody. Why can't I remember his name? DeJounte Murray. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, he was traded to the Hawks, so he'll be next to Trey Young next year. It could be a decent duo. Yeah. Um, Hayward out. What? Is Hayward out or is he back? Hayward? Yeah, for Charlotte. I'm just thinking back oh, to Charlotte. Now. I, have, I have no I have no idea. Yeah. Who knows with him? That was Who the knows? best move we ever made. <laughs> 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 Bye-bye. And I love I I like him as a person. I just best um, move we ever made. That was so sad. Yeah. So with that trade, the Spurs, I mean, it makes the Hawks better. Um they yeah. traded Horder too. Um any word on the Nets? No, I I think they're gonna stay. Kyrie might go to the Lakers. That might happen. I think um, they're crazy. The fact that they can't get that team together. What yeah. is wrong? Like, I think I mean, they have a talented group. Like, yeah, yeah of that course you can't they do. figure that out. They lost. They lost Bruce Brown though. They apparently didn't even make him an offer, which is crazy. He played um, well for them. Hmm. Yeah, he, I thought he was really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, but they have Joe Harris coming back, Ben Simmons. Yeah. They'd be good. Yeah, um, I, I agree. I agree. There's still some traction on maybe Kyrie to the Lakers if they can uh off if they can offload Russell Westbrook elsewhere for the Spurs as a possible destination. Anybody um, who takes him is just crazy. I think yeah, so. who knows? Well, it's basically only the Lakers that want him at this point. Because yeah, he's a he joker. played with LeBron, well, he played with LeBron before, and maybe he can reel him yeah. in, and that might work. Yeah. And the Lakers are desperate yeah. to get rid of Russell Westbrook, but yeah, that's. And I think I think Kevin Durant stays. I don't think there's a good enough offer out there. Teams are yeah. going to blow up their roster to get him. Yeah. And I think at the end he'll stay, but who knows? Changes every day. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So Utah. I mean, Utah traded Gobert, and now mm-hmm. maybe they trade Donovan Mitchell as well completely oh, blow really? it up that that's kind of a rumor um spurs have blown it up trading murray they're all star um Going down the, the rumor is a lot the of these end, teams donovan mitchell did not play very well no he he's not. kind of taken some steps back um agreed he was not defense has really been yeah but uh but the rumor is a lot of these teams are tanking because there's this guy named victor Wembanyama, i believe it is French guy connection. again. Oh. He's like seven. He's like seventeen. He's like seven four, and he's he looks real good. Um, there's pictures of him playing one on one with Rudy Gobert, and he's like hitting threes over him. He's huge. Um, yeah. he's like seventeen. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, so the rumor is all these, all these teams want him now that you know aren't. Thank going God anywhere. the Celtics have not purposefully tanked for a while. That'd be so sad. We really only did one year between. Um, that? Was that just plain we weren't good, or were we purposely? Well, it was the first year. The first year we traded. Oh, getting rid of Garnett Pierce. and Pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It was like yes. everybody a, was. That was a reset. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had that a couple was, years. We, or no, it was just little. that one year. We made the playoffs. Oh, because the next then year. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah, we got swept by the uh, Cavs in the first round, but that was still yeah. a fun year. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah. And then the Isaiah, Isaiah. years, the good old days. Yeah. Isaiah, that um, was so fun. What? How did he score in there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of one of my favorites, what does this all mean for Peyton? I'm a little worried about less and less playing time or yeah. traded. Like I just, I don't know. I well, feeling. he wasn't in. I mean, he wasn't in the Brogdon deal. That's encouraging. I mean, they could have yes, easily yes. thrown him in that. Agreed. I think. Yeah. I just think if Brogdon plays well and is uninjured, then you got <laughs> Derek White, and then you got yeah. Marcus. For sure. Yeah, three. Then you're talking about Hauser. Like we're talking about, can Peyton Pritchard even play? Like how's Hauser going to get any minutes? Yes. We're yeah. talking about him breaking Cause the rotation. Because I like still we, wasn't in the rotation Pritchard, last year. It could be our role player three point player. I still think sure. that because I think his defense is not terrible. But then he could Hauser even overtake him? Which is yeah. interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna, it is, yeah. Just his yeah. height. But I guess there's talk yeah, his defense is just not good. He's just not as good on defense. Who? That's the he's a little yeah, slower. Yeah. Hauser. Yeah. That's yeah. what he's working on this. He in his <laughs> press conference, he's working on uh defense and off the ball. And so we'll see. 
we'll, I'm excited. we'll see. Yeah. Not for the dog reason, days I'm not of summer. Lie. Yeah. It's the dog <laughs> days of lie. summer. I'll watch and I'll have fun with it. But when you make the like, finals, summer league isn't Hauser. supposed to be. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because you're keeping everybody. Yeah. But there were some fun summer leagues there when um, we had some good players playing mm-hmm. when they were really super young. Oh, it was fun. Fun to watch them. But yeah, the mm-hmm. summer league, other than Hauser, maybe Broderick, which I haven't really seen him play because. He didn't play yeah. that much. I don't, I don't um, watch a lot of Red Claws or main Celtics games, whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Well, if you've stuck with us this long, if you're sticking with the Celtics for Summer League, you are a true fan. Um, <laughs> no doubt about it. You just um, got to come on YouTube for the view. Yeah. Summer view for Summer League. Summer view for Summer League. Um, we're in my Red Sox hoodie. It's Red Sox season. Um, they've lost a few. The next few months are gonna go fast. Yeah, next, few next months, thing you know, be it'll, be, it'll be in training camp. We'll be so opening the your season. Dad's very excited for Patriots. So that's gonna be interesting. Gonna yeah. be interesting. Yeah, could be. You, you know, you know, it's slow Celtics news when we're talking Patriots and Red Sox on here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not a lot going on. Any injuries that you've heard of? Any whispers for any of our roster? No, I think everyone's just healing up. I don't. I, I bet those guys aren't yeah. even really playing. I mean, and yeah, they shouldn't fine. be. That's yeah. fine with me. Yeah, yeah. Heal yeah. up, heal up. So isn't it end of October typically? Yeah, I don't know if they've set a date for opening day, but yeah, it's usually yeah. October-ish. I think it's they been have messed up the last few years because of the COVID of pause, COVID. and they started yeah. early, started late. So I don't know if the, I think they'll get back to regular calendar. Yeah. I thought um, it was like preseason was october and then yep halloween maybe i don't know like you said it's messed up the last couple years so yep i'm looking forward to it let's start my countdown forward to it as well not my summer countdown but my (laughs) celtic start date countdown all right that's all i have this has been shamrock talk you were well researched summer edition yeah i did uh, i got the whole summer league rundown yep um we're worldwide per usual. YouTube, go watch us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Good Music, news. Apple Apple Podcast, Apple Music, who knows? Google Podcasts, um, worldwide, Facebook, Twitter is at Shamrock Talk Pod, Instagram at Shamrock Talk. I'm at Mr. Kaniac on both platforms. Go Celtics. Go Celtics. Can't wait. Tonight. Yeah, I'll tune in. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Summertime. <laughs> <laughs> you mean it's not Saturday? <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye.